Hi everyone, I'm Irma and in this video we'll talk about the dreaded 404 error that no one wants to land on. But if done right, it can actually benefit you and your website. The topics I'll cover are what is a 404 page, what are the best practices of 404 page design, and I'll show you how to make one yourself. Firstly, a 404 page is shown when a 404 error occurs and that can happen in cases when you land on a page that doesn't exist, some content is removed from the site or simply a mistyped URL. After all of these events, a visitor will land on a 404 page. It is in your hands to make your visitor's experience better by making the page functional. And it also benefits you, as you can lead the visitor to where you want. Traditionally, a 404 page gives the option to go back to where you were or to the home page, but that's not all it can be. There are some suggested elements to include. First, there's usually an error message that lets the visitor know what's going on. Secondly, here you should also maintain the branding of your site. Don't forget about the color palette, logo, and fonts that you've been using. A very important aspect is to make sure your visitor isn't stuck on this page. You have to ensure a place to go next. So this can be a link to the home page, a link back to the previous page, or a call to action button. Based on the previous step, you can decide whether to leave the menu or not. This can serve almost like a landing page, so if the direction is clear, you can leave it out. People do it both ways. Additionally, you can add elements like a search bar, social media icons, you can display some other content the users might be interested in. This is also a good place for a little humor. There are a lot of great examples of funny 404 pages like these that make the whole experience of landing on the wrong spot better. So, based on these best practices, let me show you how to create a simple 404 page. I'll be using Visual Composer to do this, as you can create a completely custom design there. A quick disclaimer though, uh, this does require the premium version. So the first step is obviously to have Visual Composer up and running. So let's start by creating a brand new page with Visual Composer. So you can do it right here. All right, I'll start here in the settings by giving, of course, this a name, 404 page. And then I'm gonna choose the blank page layout so we can start from scratch. So the first element to do here, let's add a row where the branding of the site is gonna go. So the logo, the logo and um, the menu. So let's make it into two columns and add a single image element here. I've got all the pictures already here in my media library. So here's our logo. Let's add that. And here we're going to add a basic menu. If you don't know here, you can choose any one of your menus. I want it to be here. All right, um, let me adjust the margin here a little bit, say 30, perfect. So it's just not stuck at the top of the page. So the next thing we want to do is add an image to make it prettier. So let's add another row here with a single image element again. And I've got this little, little astronaut here. Let's align it in the middle. I like to make them the right size just right at the start, but you can of course choose the sizes here as well. And now just the text is actually the only thing that's left for us here. So let's make it, whoops, lost in space. Let's make this heading one, align it in the, in the center and Got a little text text here as well. And let's align that in the middle too. Okay, and now, as you remember, we need some place to go, somewhere to lead the visitor. So let's add a button. And let's say 
it's going to say go home. So this is going to bring you to the home page. What you can do then is add a URL. Mirjol Composer this time. And now the button will lead to the home page. Let's also align it in the middle and just change the background color. I've got one saved here, beautiful blue, to match the little astronaut. And let's make it rounded too. And all right, that's actually all it takes. Our 404 page is ready. The next step actually is the most important one. The design is one thing, but you actually have to set this up as a 404 page. So let's save this page here and go back to the WordPress dashboard. Now, here in the Visual Composer settings, we have to find the theme builder and layout settings. Here you can choose a template for all sorts of pages like the 404 page, post archive, author page, search page. So here you can choose out of all the templates you've made. So we've got the page we just made before here and just save the changes. Now every time a 404 error is going to occur, that is going to be the page that's going to be visible. The one that we just made. It's that simple. Use any elements of Visual Composer to make the design as fun or as simple as you want it to be. And that's it. Hopefully now you understand 404 errors a little better. And let us know in the comments if you have any more questions. But till then, see you in the next one.